Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Zoe. I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffed up for some reason. As soon as I start to film, like, my nose gets stuffed up. Probably because I'm smelling a whole bunch of scents continuously at once. Yeah, anyways. I have an outlet haul. Um, I have a few outlet body care items as well as a few um, outlet candles. So we're going to start with the candles first and end with the body care. So yeah, this will be a bonus video on either... Um, Friday or a bonus like Saturday video. I'm not sure. I might just post two videos on Thursday or two videos on Friday or two videos on Saturday, two videos on Sunday. You get the gist or one on Monday, maybe Monday, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm just telling you this now. <laughs> so this is outfit is the same as last video. But yes, I have three outlet candles um, sitting in front of me. I'm very excited about them. So like, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I hope I don't drop any of these because that would be really bad. <laughs> okay, the first one is the pumpkin cinnamon cinnamon bun from this year's like fall bakery collection they had this in the um blue ribbon packaging as well as probably in their packaging but this is the one i chose to get because it has the absolutely gorgeous lid i will be keeping this lid and transferring it onto other fall candles just because it is absolutely just so beautiful like i mean come on it's beautiful it's little engraved pumpkins and it's like even engraved upwards on the inside and yes, so here is the wick placement, and these are the thick wicks. I personally have not been having a hard time with thick wicks recently. I'm running the cinnamon sugar pecan candle with thick wicks, and it's doing really good. <laughs> so um, I don't know, maybe it's just older candles had better the thick wicks, but um, the new ones are bad. I don't know. The notes are warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and frosting. This seems like it's gonna be a strong candle. Like, why do I keep like going back? This seems like it's gonna be a strong candle. Um, it had definitely has that like cream cheese cinnamon buns um, icing smell, which I personally enjoy. Um, and definitely a cinnamony, cakey, not cakey, doughy note, but not overpowering. It's more of like a creamy, frosting smell. So I'm very excited about this. I think it's gonna be a perfect fall burn, and I'll probably not burn it until next fall because I'm getting into my Christmas candles right now. But um, yes, okay, next one. This one was also from a fall collection this year, and this is the Pumpkin Bonfire Candle. The notes are white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds, and glowing embers. A lot of people say they like this, and I was surprised because it's not my favorite candle, but I do like it. Um, so you really do get, like, <coughs> whoa. Okay, you really do get the, um, the embers note. It really does smell like a campfire, like in a good way. Like the campfire smell in your clothes, not like the smoke itself. It really does smell like that, but with a hint of spice. And I don't smell any um, pumpkin per se, but I definitely smell the clove and the bonfire. And it's actually a really nice scent. I'm very excited about that one. Okay, next we have the Maine's Best Blueberry Cotton Candy. And this was a very controversial one. Um, the notes are ripe Maine blueberry, sponge sugar, and vanilla. So a lot of people were saying like they were hoping this was like a candy scent. And it's, or like... A more sugary bakery blueberry but this definitely has more of a blueberry sugar vibe it's not blueberry sugar it definitely has more of a tart blueberry and less of a sugar note well no it has more of a tart blueberry but then like a sour patch kids kind of sugar note, like the sour patch kids sugar if you covered a blueberry in that that's what you would get yeah it really doesn't like that it's crazy but I do like this, and again, it has the thick wicks, um, but they're nice in the middle. Um, but yeah, I do really think this is going to smell very nice, probably as a spring burn, because this hits me more of a spring candle. So yes, I might be pulling that out this spring. So if I grab this bag, it's my outlet bag, because I got those in a crate. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I got is a hand soap and like one of my favorite scents recently. This is white coconut caramel. The notes are coconut flakes, toasted hazelnut, and caramel swirl. I have two of the mini mists in this scent and it basically smells like coconut cream pie, but a tad better. It's a lot sweeter. And yeah, it has a lot more of a buttery, like a brown butter caramel scent. And I am super excited to have this in our bathroom next fall or after Christmas or something. Cause that is just such a nice, a really good scent. Very happy I found that, and I think it was on a $2 table, and with my 25% off, it came down to less than dollar and three cents. Okay, next. I got another of the mini collection, and this is the Pumpkin Cupcake. 
Yes, so I recently had this in the full size and used it up, but I just sprayed it on. This one definitely has more of like a perfumey vanilla. The last one, less of the cakey note and less of the um, the spices. It definitely has more perfumey vanilla, but it's close enough to satisfy my pumpkin cupcake craving. Next time I have it, and I want to pick up pumpkin apple too, but it seriously smelled like a um, room spray from Glyph, so not really my vibe. Okay, next is a classic and a favorite. This is strawberry pound cake in this year's fall bake shop collection packaging. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. My mom got me the mist as a present because I said that was fine, and so I got myself the lotion. It smells so good. This one definitely in the lotion is smelling more strawberry for more jammy than the one from what was it Th than the like fall bake shop collection from 2021 but it does not smell as good from the spring bake shop collection of 2020 that one was divine but yeah i'm super happy to have this super cute and i do like it a lot next i have the sweet cinnamon pumpkin body cream the notes are heirloom pumpkin on the cinnamon and with vanilla so those are very different notes than like a few years ago but it smells just the same and it actually has not be too bright it actually has a very light cream which is good because i didn't think it would um be this white like it is a super white cream for how old that is because that was from two years ago which is ridiculous yeah, it definitely has that same, like, poopery pumpkin scent, and it smells so good. I feel like this one has a little more cinnamon, and more of a soft pumpkin. Yeah, I really do like it, though. I've always liked sweet cinnamon pumpkin on and off in recent years. Okay, we'll get down to the two last boring things, and then go to the most exciting thing. So, on the $2 table, um, and with my 20% off, these came down to, like, a buck fifty. I got wallflowers, and these are both in Frosted Cranberry. Frosted Cranberry is a classic um, cranberry scent. So here, let me read the notes. The notes are iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka bean. And I'm going to open one and smell it. Yeah, it's a classic Frosted Cranberry, but I'm smelling a whole lot of apple. This is actually more of a Christmas scent for me usually, but I'm feeling like this is um, for like fall because I'm getting a lot of that apple. But yeah, I like these a lot. And yes. Okay, last thing. It's very exciting. I decided to pick up the Bright Christmas Morning Fine Fragrance Mist. The notes are ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. And... I didn't really like this one at first, but I think it's grown on me a little bit. It smells quite similar to Bolu Rosé, Buttercups and Bellini, and Champagne Toast. But it definitely has a more Christmassy twist on it. And yes, you can definitely get the berries, the apple, and the cranberry. I think that was the note. Oh, no, berries, orange, and apple. I get the orange, but I definitely get those berries, and it's like cranberries and pomegranate. It kind of smells like what it is mixed together. And the apple definitely gives it a Christmassy twist on like a fall orange and apple scent. Yeah, it's very pretty. I do like it, and I don't think it is as bubbly as those scents, so I like this more actually. So yes, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.